Hello. When I was a child, I was super fascinated about superheroes. The way they use their powers for humanity and uh, to help other people. As I grew up, I realized that there are superheroes all around us. Every common person has superhero within himself. The only matter of fact is some have unleashed their powers and most of us are yet to unleash our superpowers being a cafe owner i come across a lot of people and that's how i met manish when i heard his story of life battle it intrigued me his experience of fighting for his life and bouncing back that was amazing and i really feel that people should know his story so that's why i invited manish and asked him to share his thoughts on life his battle for life his perspective around the brain aneurysm and the way he looks at life now so without further ado i would ask manish to come on the show welcome on the show okay. yeah i will settle down have this belief that people who have gone through death like experience they have completely different take on life the way they look at life changes a lot when they go through this experience and uh, i gone through your website as well so there you mentioned about uh, your early life the stress that uh, you were going through during your corporate life so can you tell us more about the stress and your corporate life uh sure ganesh i started uh, uh, working for a corporate company uh, based in hong kong in 2003 and uh, that required me to travel a lot to various countries mostly southeast asian countries mm-hmm. and then um, corporate job everybody knows what a corporate job is you are always on the toes you are always on the move there mm-hmm. are meetings there are conferences there right. are targets to be met so very stressful stressful job for you uh, sitting in a restaurant you are working you are on the flight you are working so it's like yeah it's a well paid it was a well paid job At the same time, uh, you had a lot of things to do. You had a lot of commitments towards the job, mm-hmm. so it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy job as such. The right. good side of his of the job was that uh, I got to travel a lot, meet a, get used to different cultures, mm-hmm. different traditions, different countries. Yeah, good benefits are also there. Right, and then um, I. because uh, of a lot of travel and stress and i wanted to spend a lot of time with my family which i was missing a lot you know it was like uh, coming home maybe once a month or once in twice uh, mm-hmm. twice a month and i wanted more of family time to spend more time with my family right uh, and the reason behind this is there is a story that i would uh, like to narrate here with uh, regards to a person of my new in hong kong mm-hmm. i was working with a very big company and uh, quite elderly gentleman and quite experienced mm-hmm. uh, he had this experience where he spent all his life working for the company right so much so that he did not see his daughter grow up mm-hmm. you know it came to a point where uh, daughter calls up father the 18th birthday and says dad you never celebrated a birthday with me so i'm turning 18 today and why don't you come and you know why don't we celebrate it together it's a very touching story and it's a true story that happened and then um, you know he uh, as a father everybody close to the daughter and uh, he wanted to really make it to the birthday and unfortunately uh it he had to pay a price for that to be on that 18th special occasion 18th birthday where 
uh, he was in between the devil and the deep sea. There was a very important meeting and very important breakthrough that he had to do, mm-hmm. being a key man in that company. And at the same time, you have, you know, the, the daughter. So he chose the daughter for that. And then the company had to, you know, at some point of time, relieve him because of that. Uh, Just because he went for uh, his uh, daughter's... Uh, yeah, he opted to be at his daughter's birthday and that uh, coincided with a very, very, very important, uh, you know, uh, business meeting with the company. And he was asked to travel to another country to, mm-hmm. you know, uh, close the deal. But uh, he chose this and then, uh, as you say, I mean, a very surprising story and uh, that's that's what happened and that, you know, that uh, somewhere I was able to connect to that story as well. That We all work for com- corporate companies, we give our best, we serve, right. but uh, where's the guarantee for that? They will acknowledge your service as you are given perks, you are given all, all kind of benefits. But mm-hmm. there is no guarantee that you will, you know, be working with them for the rest of your life. Right. They are a corporate, they are a company. And uh, we as individuals, we have also got a personal life, you know. Right. And there is no that balance there. Either you are there or you are here. But unfortunately, today in corporate life is like, it's very difficult. Right. And then the, the company tells you, either you are here or you there. You, you choose. So that's that's the story that... Uh, got me thinking and then uh, I decided to resign uh, that I mean from the job that come in 2014 I was offered um, I mean I was offered a job in an Australian company I and mean, I was asked to set up the entire operations in India which I did mm. and uh, again I was working for 16 hours there you know it, it was it was very stressful managing the entire affairs and uh, the same thing like whether it is Hong Kong where you are traveling a lot or whether you uh, you are staying closer to your home working in India I mean for me it was the same thing again 16 hours and you're not I'm not able to still find quality time for my family right so yeah that was there and then uh, it came to a point where they were planning to transfer me to Manila Philippines okay uh, to take charge of the operations there. That's when I decided ki, I think I will have to, you know, very seriously think about this and then because it was taking a toll not only physically mm-hmm. but on my family life for which, you know, I had to pay a big price for that. And I, yeah, I resigned my job in around October of 2014. Yes. That's it. You mentioned about 16 hours of uh, working for uh, your corporate. So, I, when I look at uh, the people around me, isn't it the common problem that uh, because of the high demand, everybody have to work really hard and in that uh, there is a bit mismatch uh, in uh, the work-life balance? Yeah, definitely, of course. Normally, when I look at people around me, I see the same scenario. I believe a lot of people are also struggling the same way. So, I would like to ask viewers that are you going through the same scenario? If yes, then we would like to hear your experiences. Comment below about your personal life and uh, your corporate life. How it is? Is it really balanced? Or you are also struggling like Manish? was uh, struggling in his early phase working for 16 hours and not able to provide enough time to his family if you are going through the same situation i would encourage to share your thoughts on this and this is the part one from the early life of punish stay tuned for more in which we will deep dive more into his personal experiences about corporate, uh, his transformation and then to the brain aneurysm. Stay tuned for more.